Greetings and welcome to Besiege. I'm the Pestafarian and I recently found this game on Steam. Um, at first I didn't give it uh, that big of a look but um, after seeing some things on 9 gag about it I, uh, I must say I was intrigued. So basically this is a nice little physics game about uh, siege machines which you can build all by yourself. As you can see by the um, the version number, it's uh, an early access game, version 0 0.02, and yeah, most of the parts are still under construction or not available yet, but um, I guess the sandbox is work in progress, okay, and this little island here, Ypsilon, is available, so yeah, let's dive right in. So, um... I really like this minimalistic style. I can zoom in, I can rotate a bit, and as it seems there are several levels to complete right here on the island of Ypsilon. Um, yeah, I, I really like this minimalistic style, and um, yeah, I already conquered the first two parts to see how the game would pan out, and yeah, but we will begin right here on level 1 so I can show you what this game is actually about. So, um, yeah we got a nice uh, building screen right here. I can rotate with uh, the right mouse, I can zoom in, zoom out, so the basic features. As you can see I need to destroy this little cottage here. Um, for that I need to build a siege machine or a siege engine. No. Let's go with Siege Machine right here. Um, so, yeah, first build some wooden blocks uh, onto the source cube. So, um, right in the lower line, we got the uh, wooden blocks, we got a motor wheel. So, um, this is, uh, I guess, uh, for going forwards and backwards, uh, a steering hinge, uh, so to control your wheels with, and a brace. Click and drag. Um, so this is some kind of structure to um, improve the structural integrity, I guess. I have never used those, so I don't know. Um, yeah, apart f so we got these basic parts, we got blocks, which is pretty much the same thing with those three. We got a wooden panel, which is, I think, for decoration, a hinge and a sh swivel point joint. Um, I have to find out what those are for. Um, powered motor wheel, we already saw that, steering hinge, we saw that. Uh, that is steering whatever, a decoupler, ooh, interesting, a contractible spring, suspension piston, ooh, that could be fun, a spinning block and a grabber, grabs anything it touches, hmm, that sounds nice. Then spike ball, so now uh, this is the weaponry, spike ball, a metal blade, a circular saw, metal spikes, cannons, flamethrower, a bomb, a holder, flaming ball, and a plow. Uh, it seems you can even fly with your contraptions, uh, so f flying block, aerodynamic propeller, a wing, wing panel, or ballast, adjustable weight. Uh huh. And last but not least, armor, so some metal plates in different forms. Yeah, but first of all, let's go with the basic things here. So, um, this is the um, the source cube, as you can see here. So, um, it's a, uh, it is pointing to me that I could build such a structure, which I did in the first attempt. Um, apart from that, we can um, put some wheels on there. Then we put it on the ground with this button. And last but not least, we press play and we can accelerate using the arrow keys. And then, um, yeah, it's pretty easy to destroy this house. We just need to um, drive over it. That's that's pretty much any th everything. So, um, yeah, I can do this pretty easy and I can attach these right here. As you can see, boop, boop, pretty easy. So now I want to try the brace. So I think, aha, I have to hold 
the arrow key to actually place it and ah there we go hmm uh, I must say for an early alpha or beta version um, the attaching and whatnot works pretty well so nice so uh, let's try a steering engine then um, yeah why not let's do this and now some wheels so right here right here and right there so um you can I think with uh, F to flip a wheel whatever that to flip a wheel when hovering over it oh so it can go in another direction ah so I wonder I oh I okay so the basic thing I did last time was getting some spikes put them right here and that was it it is a pretty basic machine for some destruction but why don't we go ahead and um, there must be an er eraser so with this you can erase blocks erase the brace right here get another block right here um, yeah I guess I can do this and this for some more structural integrity and how about we use a circular saw right here so if something comes right here it will uh, pretty much destroy it oh man that thing looks mean already okay let's not overpower it power it and set the machine to the ground and now we can try it so I will press the play button Ooh, you see the saw is spinning uh, I can zoom in zoom out and now uh, with left and right I can steer the engine uh, so um, that is pretty nice and now I can press forward backward yeah and as you can see um, the physics are pretty realistic because I have so much weight in the front uh, when going back it will um, put up the back so um, I have to be careful with the center of mass and I think I can even uh, make that thing visible I think there was an option so uh, first let's save save machine as um, pastors basic siege okay pastors machine let's do it like this and save okay so click and drag translate machine undo and redo translate oh what is that all about oh we can put it uh, somewhere else with that oh interesting nice okay put it on the ground again key mapper destroy machine machine info free build mode disable bounding box okay and control list and I think there was a center of mass option huh key mapper no huh huh I guess not then okay let's press play again and yeah let's see there is a <laughs> well so much for that I think this uh, the steering wheels are pretty useless right like that um, let me try driving without them so <laughs> yeah uh, that's pretty much what you do zone conquered success we can either return to map or we can go to the next zone so um, yeah let's go to the next zone and what is uh, pretty nice it keeps your machine so we don't have to rebuild it every time but I actually want to go ahead and um, rebuild this because the steering wheels were not very effective and I think the circular saw wasn't as well so let's get another wooden block right here and let's see now um, I want some wheels and I want to uh, a steering hinge but as we saw ah, that thing was a little bit wobbly so I wonder 
Um, yeah, first let me do a machine like this. Um, let me get another brace right here. And now, instead of the spikes, maybe try something else. So let's erase the spikes. And yeah, what shall we try? So, how about a metal blade? Ooh, that looks reasonably frightening. Or a spike ball. Although, uh, I don't know. Ah, maybe just for getting some mass into the center. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, let's use cannons. I don't know, um, those only fire once and only in the direction they are facing. So, um, I don't know. Flamethrower, bomb, a holder, a plow. I don't know, why not? Let's, let's, uh, use a plow. Okay, I have to do something first, so let me see here. Let's put another wooden block right here. And now, can we attach the plow there? No, we can't. Um, right. Uh, I think that... Oh, let me see if I can... Uh, will it go down? No, it wouldn't. <laughs> okay, that is a pretty useless machine right now. So... We need to go up that hill, and I think the best thing for doing that is indeed attaching some cannons to our machine. So, shall we go for normal or for overkill? I would say we should go for overkill. And they are facing in this direction, and so we get... Uh, we don't get um, an, une an uneven impulse, because... Oh, yeah, right. Uh, undo. Um, yeah, so, as I said, we got physics right here. And because of that, we need to be aware that uh, Newton's law uh, or laws apply. So, for every force that goes in one direction, there will be an, an equal force in the other, other direction. You will see what I mean in a second. So, um, first I want to replace the machine. Right, like this. And now I can fire with... <coughs> uh, that was anticlimactic. C to ignite. Only one shot per cannon. So, let's see here. And um, I will do it... Yeah. Let me show you like this to actually make clear how our machine will react. You saw that? That was Newton's laws applying right there. So, first of all, um, the cannons didn't fire high enough, so I need to set them a little bit higher. So, let's do this. And then, uh, hmm, one, two, and three. Let's put some braces right here. And yeah, I want to have some more um, structural integrity behind here. So I will put some more braces because uh, braces are cool. <laughs> and I totally know I'm uh, totally over engineering this thing. So um, yeah. Okay, now, um, to keep our machine from falling, let's do something like this, so it won't uh, tip over. Okay, I think we can test this machine now. So, I could go forward. Oh, man. And, yeah, as you can see, uh, it got a pretty heavy load on the uh, back side of the machine, but oh well. Let's ignite. Oh, darn, it tipped over anyways. Ah, well, whatever, we destroyed the little windmill. So, yeah, let's go on. Or, even more, I think we are at over 50 minutes now, and I want to keep it, uh, this first episode, as kind of a review and show-off. So, um, yeah, why don't you let me know in the comments how you would, uh, 
or how you like the game and um, if you want uh, a continued series about this. So um, yeah, this is kind of a small little review. I uh, think the idea is quite nice, uh, having a little sandbox uh, siege game where you can play around with actual physics, which work indeed very well for this early build. And uh, I'm pretty curious to see how this game will progress through the early access phase. And um, yeah, if you want to have this game uh, yourself, um, you can purchase it via Steam. I think it is seven bucks or something like that. So pretty cheap. And I think we could have some great fun with this. So um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, a rating would be much appreciated, since it always helps me out. And if you want to see other series by me, or um, don't want to miss an episode again, go over to my channel and hit the little subscribe button. I hope to see you next time, and so, yours faithfully, the Pestafarian.